Ryan uh, Biggles uh, Charleston, unfortunately, um, he was that type of guy. But unfortunately, he passed away uh, due to an, uh, um, I guess, an operation he was in. Right, Kevin? He was uh, he he was one of the guys that was shot in the movie American Sniper. Right in his orbital bone, did he get shot at, Kevin, or where was he shot? Yeah, he got. So on August second, two thousand six, uh, we were doing a clearance, uh, you know, uh, cordon and clearance. Or basically, the army was blocking areas off, and Ryan was up on one of the rooftops with Chris Kyle, with Mark Lee, with uh, um, uh, Johnny Kim, who was the other medic, and he was taking a knee on the rooftop and took a round through the wall, which hit the feed tray cover on his machine gun and, and blew out his eye um, instantly. But that wasn't what got him. He eventually, through rehab, lost you know vision in both eyes because of the swelling in his brain, and it you know, affected his uh, his optic nerve and his good eye. Um, but it was the surgical revision, you know, a couple years later, three years later that, that, um, it took Ryan. It was the, uh, kind of the, you know, the, the malpractice of, of the physicians that were working on him when it came to, uh, some of the narcotics that were used. So Ryan passed, um, unfortunately, tragically, um, and, and never got to meet his daughter. His wife, his wife at the time was pregnant mm -hmm. and, uh, he'd called me like three days before the operation, um, was telling me he was going in for another revision. It, it was his like 25th, 30th surgery. Um, and he was all excited because his wife was having a girl and, you know, he's talking about that. And, um, yeah, he, he passed in the recovery room, um, tragically three years after the event. And, and, oh, wow. and unfortunately you've, uh, uh, one last thing about Ryan job is that I read that he also, um, he climbed a mountain blind. Didn't he, uh, be able to climb one of those mountains while, while he couldn't see, he actually went and climbed a mountain. He did. You know, he, he was a guy who completely you know, changed his life and being a SEAL, um, I think, was was obviously a very positive thing in that direction. His wife, Kelly, is fantastic. Um, but when he got out of the Navy, uh, medically discharged, he was he finished uh, undergrad with a 4.0 GPA. He climbed Mount Rainier blind. Um, he actually killed an elk blind, which I thought was funny. I, I, was, I was joking. I was like, Ryan, of course you killed an elk blind because when you had two eyes, there's no way you could have hit the elk. You needed to be blind. To hit it. Uh, but but funny, funny story, you know, you know, Charles was talking about like, you know, team room and that, and this is what brings, like, this is what makes like teamwork and unity is these stories. Cause uh, I, I remember I used to pick Ryan up, you know, after he was blind and I'd take him around town or I'd take him to a doctor's appointment. And he's like, dude, can you pick up some of the, uh, some of the Copenhagen for me so I could chew some tobacco. And I was like, dude, uh, absolutely. I can do that for you. No problem. He's like, yeah. Cause every time I, I get some new Copenhagen, um, I try to hide it, but my, my fiance, Kelly, she always finds it. I was like, of course she finds it. You're blind. You're not exactly the best to hide. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Uh, but man, he's a, he's a funny dude. Funny I, dude. Uh, 